National Football League finds us a dozen miles east of the National Mall at the home of the Commanders here in Landover, Maryland. Now return coming from the seven. He'll get this up to the 28-yard line. Nice place for the drive to start. Watson going to throw right away. Open man, that's Amari Cooper. And they'll be set up now. Up past the 40 with that one. They'll break the huddle. Coming up now for first and 10. They'll run. This is Jerome Ford. And not much there. He's back to the original line. No gain on that one. The big guys in the middle of the defense, Mike, the defensive tackles. So often they're asked to do the dirty work. Keep the blockers off the linebackers. Let them run around and make all the plays. But in this case, this guy's able to shed his blocker, make the stop, and keep it to no gain. Here's Watson now on second down. Oh, no chance there. Under a heavy rush, he goes down. We spend so much time talking about quarterbacks and the special plays that they can make. And of course, that's a big part of playing quarterback in the NFL. But also, can you avoid the bad plays? Do you know when the fight is over and live to play another down? Don't take that sack. Throw the ball away, get back out there on third down, and give yourself a chance. He manages to get the throw away and completes it. And he will. Score. David Njoku. Touchdown, Browns. And that is the way to start a game. Not just score, but Greg, score quickly. A nice opening drive for the first six points. Well, it seems, Mike, the hour spent on that opening game script was time well spent. I mean, to take the ball right down the field that quickly right out of the gates, that's a pretty good opening drive and an early six points. nothing is our score as this kick is sent into the air here comes a return from the five he'll get across the 20 mark him down at the 23 yard line three tight ends in the game to start the drive First carry of the game for Brian Robinson. And he'll bring this to about the 25. That was Jordan Hicks who got him down. Another run here for Robinson. The defense all over this one. They get him behind the line of scrimmage. A loss of a couple. Great job by the defense here. Quickly realizing that this was going to be a draw. They're not caught off guard thinking that they're defending the pass. They're able to not only get in there for a stop, but they're able to take him down in the backfield for a loss. On third down, they'll throw with Daniels. And that one is caught. And this will bring them all the way down to the 20-yard line. What can I say, Mike? Good things happen when you get the ball to your tight end. But in all seriousness, think about what this guy has to handle in the passing game. Not only to be the possession guy, convert first downs underneath, but then have the ability to be the matchup to get downfield and be vertical in the passing game. There's not a lot of tight ends around the league that can do both. And when you have them, I don't blame the quarterback for looking his way.
Here's second and nine. From the shotgun, it's Daniels. He finds the veteran Ertz. Looking to keep a promising drive alive. It is third and a yard. Oh, he's got a man. That's caught by Brown. And he will get into the end zone. Diami Brown. Touchdown, Washington. And what a response by this offense. It's not easy taking the field, Mike, for the first time in the game. And you find yourself already down a score. They watch their opponent kind of march down the field and score on the opening possession. And they're able now to go out and square it on up. Allows you to take a deep breath. Maybe get a little confidence for your defense to go out and get a stop. And they come over with this extra point. We got ourselves a tie ball game. Each team one possession, each team a score. 7-7 as they kick it off. This one taken at the 7. And he'll work this one past the 25 to right about the 28-yard line. The Browns offense ready to see the football for the second time. We'll try to break out of this deadlock. We are all even at 7 as they start this drive first and 10. Shotgun snap to Watson. That's caught left side by Cooper. And that keeps him ahead of schedule. That's a first down completion of seven yards. Second down and three. Out of the gun, Watson. That's into the hands of Moore. And they'll pick up the first down, a gain of about four. They bring Judy in motion. Here comes the jet sweep. And he tries to get to the edge, but cannot do it. Good job by the defense. No game. We'll try again. It's second and ten. Here's four. And some good blocking at the point of attack. A pickup of seven. And it brings up third down. Very positive returns on that run. I mean, really, the only thing not to like is that they weren't able to move the chains. But you know what? The way he ran there, I think they go right back to him and see if he has even a bigger carry in. Third and two, and it's Watson. And that is incomplete. The most important stat, Mike, to determine wins and losses in the NFL is clearly turnover differential. Your ability to protect the ball and on defense, take the ball away. And for any offense, that's even more critical when you have the ball on your side of the field. They will get away from that one, and they're going to have tremendous field position. This ball hits and goes out of bounds. The commander's offense about ready to get going on their second possession. They are backed up about as far as you can be, operating from their own two-yard line. They'll come up here first and 10. They'll start on the ground with Robinson. And he finds some space tackled after a gain of seven on first down.
Here's second and three to go. The motion man here is McClure. They'll go again with Robinson. And he's going to pick up a first down. Nice run to the 18-yard line. A touchdown apiece here in the first quarter of play. Paris Evans on the scoreboard. More after this. You're watching the NFL right here on EA Sports. On first down, Daniels. That's to the third round pick, Luke McCaffrey. And will mark him down up beyond the 30. You see the first down pick up there by Luke McCaffrey, and certainly a name a lot of NFL fans are going to recognize. Obviously, the son of Ed McCaffrey, the brother of Christian. And his ability to really work in traffic, make difficult, contested catches, he's going to have to earn some of these opportunities. He had 11 games with at least one receiving touchdown. That led all college football last year at Rice. I think this is a young player that's going to surprise a lot of people and maybe surpass some expectations some of the folks on the outside maybe have placed on him. Here's second and two. The motion man here is McClure. And he'll work his way for about four yards. And that's good enough for a first down. We've seen his big play potential as a receiver, so I don't think it's a surprise to see them work in a little bit of a changeup and give him the ball on the ground. Held to a small gain here, but they don't mind. He still had enough to pick up the first down. They'll put a receiver in motion right. And he'll work forward for about four. It's second down. Operating from the gun, it's Daniel. And that's a first down. It will be a gain of eight. Well, it wasn't the most exciting throw of the day, but I want you to watch, Mike, is the suddenness of the route runner. Change of speed, change of direction. Those are the qualities of great route runners, and this guy's certainly one of them. Now Robinson. Second and seven. On the handoff, it's Robinson. And there's defense up to the task there. Gain of just two, and it's third down. Working out of the gun, it's Daniels. Oh, he gets a good read defensively and intercepts it. Picked off by Martin Emerson. First and ten. The drive starts with a carry by four. It'll be stacked up at the line of scrimmage. No gain on the play. He'll try again here, second and ten. They'll run once more with four. And he'll get them five yards closer, but now third down coming up.
from the shotgun. Here's Watson. And this is going to be incomplete. That's great work to get in there and make things difficult defensively, setting up a fourth down. And that's exactly how you teach it. They want these defenders to time the hit, that right when the ball gets there, you separate the receiver from the ball. And those are the ones on offense, man. You just have to make that catch, Mike. I know it's easier said than done, but you know the hit's coming. You've got to squeeze that thing, brace for impact, and make that play for your offense. Here comes the Washington offense now. They get set to take over. They'll work in a tie game here in the second quarter and get started with first and ten. To throw is Daniels. That's over the middle, complete to Brown. And that keeps him ahead of schedule. That's a first down completion of seven yards. Here's a second and three forthcoming. On the option, here's Robinson. And he's got it. First down. A pickup of four. Throwing is Daniels. He's got his tight end. There's Ertz. And he's going to be taken down as we hit the two-minute warning here in this first half. On second down, it's Daniels. Throw on the run is complete. A nice throw by the rookie from LSU. And he's got his team a first down. Here's Daniel. Over the middle. He's got McClurin. And this takes him into the red zone. He's brought down inside the 20-yard line. You find yourself in these two-minute drills, Mike. They're pretty critical moments in the game. They go a long way to deciding the outcome. So it makes a lot of sense. You start looking for your top target, and he comes through for him there. Daniels going to throw again. Quick throw here is complete. And that keeps him ahead of schedule. That's a first down completion of seven yards. Throwing again, Daniels. Now a screen gonna be set up for Robinson. This drive's going to continue. They bring him down, but not before he picks up first and goal for his team. Keep it in the air. Here's Daniels. Here now, second down and goal. To the air again is Daniel. And he's going to be swallowed up, taken down, sacked back at the five. 
Now the Commanders will use their third and final timeout as they'll stop it just a little bit over 30 seconds to go in this first half. From back at the five, here now third and goal. Third and goal, it's Daniels. That's hauled in at the two. We see teams more and more throw the ball short of the sticks on third down, really for two reasons. One, they're confident that they can pick up the first down with yards after the catch. Two, teams' willingness to go for it on fourth down is at an all-time high. So instead of going for the first down, in comes the field goal unit. Bit of a surprise here. He is two for two. That kick is good. And the Commanders get three here late in the first half to take the lead. You know, I think it's safe to say here, Mike, as this offense leaves the field, they wanted to stay out there and go for it. But I think in this case, the coach is playing the long game. He understands that these three points now can end up being very valuable as this game moves along. They didn't leave much time on the clock to put together a drive here at the end of the first half. And the kickoff's coming their way. He'll get this up to the 28-yard line. Nice place for the drive to start. The Browns offense going to get it one final time in this first half. This one has been tight so far. A field goal separating the two sides as this drive kicks off with first and ten. Now it's Watson. That's into the hands of Judy on the right side. The best quarterbacks, Mike, they have an internal clock in their head. How does my protection match up with the rush and the route concept I'm trying to attack downfield? In this case, he's looking downfield, realizes quickly this ball's got to come out, checks it down to his underneath drag, picks up what he can. On second down, here's Watson. Here's a screen set up for four. And he's going to have the first down as he gets out of bounds. And he stopped the clock as well. Throwing is Watson. And a good effort there defensively. It's knocked away and incomplete. Jerry Judy, the intended target, and it'll lead to a second down. To say football is a game of inches may be an understatement after that last play. I mean, if he gets there just a little bit quicker, he can get two hands on it and reel it in. And instead of just forcing the incomplete, he could have had himself a pick. That's going to wind up incomplete. Not much time remaining. Time for one more snap here in this first half. At this level, you just would expect a little bit better execution and accuracy on those intermediate throws. I think he had an opportunity there for a nice pickup. Off target, off rhythm, and ends up getting away from him. Throwing on third down. Watson. And that is incomplete. One final chance does not work out. Time has expired. The first half has come to an end. Three points, all that separates these two sides has half number two. Kicks off. From the six, here comes a return. And he'll work this one past the 25 to right about the 28-yard line. The commander's offense ready to get going again. They'll have it first in this third quarter. They lead by a field goal as they go to work with a first and ten. The drive will begin here with a run by Robinson. And he surges forward for a gain of about five. On, 
throwing on second down. Daniel. Well, he's brought down. That pass is going to pick up four and bring up third down. in motion is Brown. They'll try to run for it with Robinson. A gain of 11 on that one. First down, Washington. We've seen third down really turn into a pass-happy down throughout the league, and I think this is an example of the play caller kind of using that to his advantage. Keep the defense off guard, keeps the ball on the ground, extend this possession. The RPO, they'll get it to Brown. And they'll get about half of what they needed. It's a pickup of five and sets up second and five. The timing of these RPO concepts, that's the entire key. Remember, Mike, different than the college game, these offensive linemen, they're blocking for the run. But if that ball gets pulled, the pass option of the play, they're not allowed downfield. In the college game, they get a three-yard window that they're allowed to be downfield even on a forward pass. That's not the rule in the NFL. These decisions have to be made quickly. If not, even after a good pickup, you could be coming back due to a flag. A fresh set of downs to work with. It is first down and 10. From the shotgun, it's Daniels. Gets it away quickly, and it's caught. And they're going to be set up right around the 10-yard line. Now it is first and goal. Daniels now going to look to throw. This one caught at the four. Inside the five, it is second and goal. He finds the veteran Ertz. And he'll take it on in. Zach Ertz. Touchdown, Commanders. The kicking team off for the extra point. He gets it to go. And the Commanders will get out in front 17-7. to The kickoff team is out on the field. And we're back to it as the kick's away. Pierre Strong on the return. The Browns offense trotting back out for their first involvement of this second half. They find themselves down 17-7 as this drive starts first and 10. Open this drive on the ground with four. He'll work this ahead for two, maybe three. Benjamin St. Juice there on the tackle. Again, it's four. And that one shut down pretty quickly. He'll get back to the line of scrimmage. Nothing more. At this point in the game, Mike, we just haven't seen a lot of fire out of this offense. Here's another run. Simple handoff. No game. 
Here comes third and six. Out of the gun, Watson. And this ball incomplete on third down. Missed opportunities like these are a big reason why they find themselves down double digits here in the third quarter, Mike. Points on this possession could have gone a long way towards making this game competitive, but instead, poor execution, especially in the passing game, and it's another wasted drive. And he's going to be brought down after a short return, and that's where his team will get possession of the football. The commander's offense ready to take over once more. Their lead is 10. They go back to work trying to add to it. It begins with first down. Operating from the gun, it's Daniels. This to the right side, but it's going to wind up incomplete. They run over center with Robinson. And he goes forward. Good gain on that one. Pickup of eight out to the 33-yard line. Now a third and two. They'll run with Robinson. It'll be a pickup of ten. Good for a commander's first down. You can see the trust they have in this running back in the offensive line. You're facing a three and out. You're trying to extend this drive. Turn around, hand it to the guy behind you, and let him do the rest. So they come to the line for first down and ten. Working out of the gun, it's Daniels. He keeps it himself. Well, let's give credit here to the coverage unit, Mike. There was nowhere to go with the ball for that quarterback. He had no choice but to just tuck it down himself, and he's able only to pick up a short game. Here's second and six. Little short pass here, caught by his tight end. And they'll hold him to a gain of just a couple and sets up third down. From the shotgun on third down, Daniels. He's got a man. It's McClure. A gain of 16 on that pass play. First down, Washington. So, three quarters now in the books. You're watching the NFL on EA Sports. From the 35, it's first and 10. Quick throw, taken in. And no chance to turn and go. That one good for just a couple. Look him up on a second down and eight. The motion man here is McClure. This defense in desperate need of a stop, and here comes third down. 
to throw is Daniels. And on third down, that ball incomplete. I'd say one of the most critical elements of a dynamic offense, Mike, is how efficient are you on third down? It's something these teams stress all week. Here's an opportunity to continue to extend this drive. The defense wins this time and brings up fourth down. He is two for two. That kick is good. And the Commanders will extend their lead. Both teams ready to go once more as the kicks away. This will be returned from the six. And he'll be brought down just beyond the 25-yard line. The Browns offense ready to see what they can do with this next possession. The deficit is double digits, so work to do as they begin this drive with first and ten. the shotgun here's Watson under pressure and he'll go down they got him this is what you don't want to see out of your quarterback as that pocket starts to collapse the good ones they can keep their eyes downfield and feel the rush they don't need to see the rush here his eyes go down he starts moving around the pocket nowhere to go with the ball and they bring him down for a sack here's Watson now on second down Let's, oh, after the catch, he's hit, and the ball is out. But this is taken in by a teammate. Now, obviously, there's never a good time to fumble the ball. It's probably the thing that teams stress the most is ball security. But it makes it a little bit easier knowing that your own team was able to fall on top of it, and at least you can maintain possession. Shotgun snap to Watson. He's got his man complete. That's Judy. And he's down inside the 40-yard line. Everyone talks about all the physical qualities to play quarterback in the NFL, Mike, and of course that's a given, but it's really the cerebral approach to the game that separates the best from everybody else, and I think both of those things were on display there as he did not only a great job of finding the vulnerabilities of the back end, but then once his guy was there, it was that arm talent that put the ball in the exact right spot to allow his guy to make the big play. On play action, it's Watson. He's got it inside the five. And he's going to be taken down. And this is what the offense needed. Now, after that last completion, you still trail here in the fourth quarter. You need scores, and you need scores fast. So they cannot take their time. I wouldn't be surprised to get them right back up on the line of scrimmage and try to score here now that it's first and goal. And he will score. Game on. Jerome Ford, touchdown Cleveland. Now Hopkins on to add the extra point. His kick is good, and the Browns are back within six. Things a little more interesting now. Back to a one-score game as they kick it away. He'll start at the four. He'll work his way across the 25-yard line. 
The commander's offense getting those helmets back on, ready to head out for their next possession. They work with a six-point advantage as they start this drive on first and ten. On the give, it's Robinson. That one never got started. Too much defensive pressure. They drop him in the backfield. At this stage in the fourth quarter, great job by the defense, understanding exactly what the offense is trying to do. They're trying to bleed the clock, shorten the game. They completely sold out to stop the run, able to take them down for a loss. Third and five. They'll throw with Daniel. He's got a touchdown on the books from earlier, and that catch gets him a first down. So this is a part of the game that everybody works on, Mike. They call it four-minute offense, and you don't necessarily have to have four minutes on the clock, but the whole idea is we possess the ball late in the fourth quarter, with the lead the goal is we want to end the game with the ball so that third down conversion is going to go a long way protect the ball continue to pick up first downs if they do that i don't even think their opponent sees the ball again Gift, and here comes Robinson. And he's going to be taken down, and that will take us to the two-minute warning. Here's third down and a few inches. Here's Robinson, and he's going to be taken down, and that will take us to the two-minute warning. There go three tight ends here on first and ten. On the ground it's Robinson and he's gonna be taken down and that will take us to the two-minute warning they'll come up here on second down and five Another run here for Robinson. And he's going to be taken down, and that will take us to the two-minute warning. Converted twice on third down already on this drive. Now can they do it for a third time? They run this straight ahead with Eckler. The offense staying out there for this fourth down. They'll go. It's Robinson. And this is not going to be enough. He is short of the marker. And they have turned it over on downs. You give your offense a chance to close this game out. If they pick up the first down, this game is over. But now, after the defensive stop, we're starting to see some signs of life on that other sideline. 
They'll drop to throw. Oh, he can't get rid of it, and he's taken down. When you can win so fast as an edge rusher, you put so much pressure on the quarterback to speed everything up. He can sense that pressure coming either from his front or backside. It either speeds up and leads to an errant throw, or in this case, it leads to a sack. So it's a win here for the Commanders. They were the aggressors from the start, able to dictate the pace of play. But in the end, they come away with the victory. So that'll just about do it for Greg Olson and our entire team. I'm Mike Tirico. You've been watching the NFL on EA Sports. For more, log on to easports.com. The Commanders are winners, as we say so long from just outside our nation's capital.